Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a beautiful layout totally inspired by the lovely Paige Evans and I'm using the, the March kit from the scrapbookingstore.com. It is featuring the Echo Park Celebrate Spring Collection and you got um, Project Life Enamel Dots, um, these kind of like crepe paper um, and stickers from Sticko. And so I'm cutting strips of one inch, one and a quarter inch, and one and a half inch, and using a quarter inch score mark, and gonna be making tons of pinwheels. Like I said, Paige Evans just posted a video, and I completely fell in love with it. So here I am just kind of recreating it with a different collection since I don't have Horizon yet. But this collection is featuring all these great pinks and gigums. There's like a yellow polka dot, a blue, and everything else. And so it was just so wonderful to play with. So I go ahead and do that with every paper. And I think I make two to three pinwheels in each pattern paper, including this rainbow stripe one, which when made into a pinwheel is gorgeous. And I didn't use the A side because they were very busy patterns and I didn't think they made good pinwheels. So the opposite sides were all like repeating patterns in um, monochromatic paper tones and so I used just the B side of all the papers um, for this and you'll see the collection of um, pinwheels that I made. So just like Paige Evans I started making an assembly line with hot glue was the easiest way and attaching them to like a one inch punched out circle and you can see a few of them getting done right there. It was um, a labor of love for this layout as well, I will say. Um, do have time to do this, um, but the, the outcome is gorgeous, and I will say it's also quite dimensional. So just be aware. But you can see how um, the different sizes I made by cutting the strips into the different lengths um, is simply perfect. And the hot glue works very well, too, since it has a quicker dry time when you're, especially you're doing this part. Um, for pushing them down onto the circle because if you don't have a quick dry time you're going to be holding these down for a long time and as you can see I'm holding them for maybe maybe five to ten seconds obviously I have this sped up too and um, they're instantly held down and I can move on to the next one so the hot glue does cut down on the assembly time for it and then here they all are and I still just like I said scrap lifted page and I love the diagonal um, arrangement of them all and I thought I was going to fill up the entire paper even that corner with these two larger ones but in the end I took them out because I kind of like and there I was showing you my inspiration um, the extra white in the corner for some balance on the layout. Um, I didn't want any of them either going off the page because I didn't want to cut them. That would be a fine look as well, you know, having one of the edges or so go off the page. I know I just didn't want to cut into any of these beautiful pinwheels. And I will say, the outcome of this is, like, just so pretty. I saw pages and I was like, uh, OMG, like I need to make that in my album as well. Um, and so I will be doing this with future collections as well. It's just too cute not to. So then I went stash diving as well and put a few buttons that were not included in the kit into the center. But these little crepe flowers were included in the kit and I thought, how perfect is this too? I can add them to my pinwheel layout and I just add the two greens. I could have gone with the yellow too, or actually I did put the yellow, I didn't think I did. Um, the yellow and the greens I added just for the extra effect and for a different texture on the layout. Then I'm taking the 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet that is included in the Echo Park uh, collection and adding a sprinkle of the tiniest little florals that do come in the kit. Obviously, these are going to match perfectly since they are featured. And then I thought about adding, they have like little, you know, critters and stuff like the um, turtle and the... Um, frog and some other things, but I thought, nah, better not. Now, I went ahead and add some, uh, like, the clear stones from my collection, simply because those little flowers that were included that were made out of the tissue paper had clear stones, um, you know, rhinestones in the center. Then I was like, you know what, I have a bunch of these somewhere in my stash, and they're in this, like, little, um, jewelry organizer that I went ahead and filled the center of each pinwheel and added more gemstones, just the clear ones, to the center so they kind of all matched in essence is kind of the look I was going for. So I was like a little pop of bling won't hurt anybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> the picture I'm scrapping is of Valentina, um, one of her grandmas sent her over this like such an old fashioned kind of like tennis outfit. It's the most adorable thing. Um, so I took like three shots, at, well I took more than three shots clearly, but these are the three I put side by side. 
matted it on white and then matted it with the apple green color of the cardstock. Um, I love apple green, the color. It's just a fun one. I don't call it neon green. I always call it apple green and I love it. I do kind of tuck it behind some of the pinwheels and I decide on the one of the big stickers for my title so spring in the air and then I will add some gold Heidi swap at the end. Oh and I do add this sticker as well hello spring in the corner. Uh, I live in Florida so I mean it, it was spring all the time. <laughs> It's spring all the time here, even in our winter. Um, so I just love it. It, Like I said, it is dimensional, so it will be probably the only layout I keep in that page protector and not have anything else bulk it up on the opposite side. But I freaking love this layout, guys. If you have time, if you have a scoreboard, I would definitely encourage you to make some pinwheels and go to town on some pattern paper. It really is a nice effect. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are inspired. Until next time, bye.